morning. It's really lovely to see you guys again this morning. And Wilhelmina just wanted to come again um, because she thought um, last week that she'd really enjoyed singing happy birthday to one of the um, little ones when we had our Zoom um, coffee morning. And she just thought, what if there's other children who have got their birthday this week? And we just thought it'd be really nice and just to have a little song to sing happy birthday if it is your birthday this week happy birthday to you we're so glad god made you happy birthday god bless you happy birthday to you So if it's your birthday this week, then we wish you a very, very happy birthday. And just a reminder this week that Zoom, our coffee morning, is going to be on Thursday instead of today. So we hope that you're able to join us for our coffee morning. Now this week, um, Charlotte and Sherbet are going to be sharing a story with you. And the story this week is about being a good neighbour. It's about kindness. So I really hope you enjoy it. And then tomorrow, I've got a really nice, easy thing to do um, with just paper and pens that you can do at home. Um, again, to do with loving your neighbour. Take care. See you soon. Good morning, everybody. It's so lovely that you're back and that you are here for our story this morning. Unfortunately, Sherbet isn't able to join us this morning, and so we'll have to say hello to him next week. But we hope that you can join us for some coffee on Thursday this week and a catch-up at 10 o'clock. And we'll post the link out to our Zoom meeting later in the week. But for today, in Sherbet's absence, we're still going to do a story. And we're reading from our book called The Stories That Jesus Told. And this one is a lovely story. And it, you may find it familiar because it's a story that has been told many, many, many times. And it's called The Good Stranger. Right, so The Good Stranger um, is a story about a man who goes on a journey on a donkey. And he encounters a, um, a really bad situation that he gets rescued by someone who's just quite surprising. So let's see what the story's about. So here he is. Here is a man. He's going on a long journey. He packs some sandwiches and some food for the journey. There he's got a flask of tea. Then he says, giddy up to his donkey. Soon he's left the town behind him. The sun is hot and the long climb up into the hills makes his donkey puff. The path winds between high rocks. It is a dark place full of shadow. I don't like it here, says the man. And he has a funny feeling that somebody is watching him. Can you spot them? They're hiding behind the rocks. They've got a creepy feeling. Suddenly there's a shout. Robbers, three of them. They steal his donkey and his belongings. There's his bag. And they whack him on the head with his own stick. The poor man, he's left lying on the path. His head is bleeding and he cannot move his legs. He lies there for a long time and he finally falls asleep. The poor man. After a while, someone comes along the path. He's wearing fine clothes and he has a bishop's hat on. He stops and then hurries past, pretending not to see. Perhaps he's late for an important business. Perhaps he is afraid. The man wakes up and starts to call for help. Ah, here comes someone, a man in a wig. Can you see his wig? A funny white wig on, hasn't he? So he's a lawyer. Oh, no, it's not a wig. It's not a lawyer, it's a judge. He says, help, help, but the judge pretends not to hear. He hurries past, just like the bishop. The sun rises high in the sky and the man is hot. His throat is dry, but here comes 
more footsteps. Who is it? Oh no, it's a stranger from a foreign country. He has no friends here. Why should he stop to help? The stranger does stop. He speaks kindly to the man in foreign words and helps him to drink some water. He shows real kindness. He washes his wounds and carefully puts a bandage on his head. The stranger helps the man up onto his own donkey and he puts his arm around him to stop him from falling and he leads him gently down the path. At the next town, the stranger finds an inn and he puts the man to bed and pays the innkeeper. Look after him, he says, until I get back. And then Jesus says, which of these three was a good neighbor? The bishop, the judge, or the stranger? And the answer is that the stranger was kind. He showed real kindness to the man in his moment of need and he was thoughtful and he was caring, even though he knew nothing about the, the man who was traveling and he didn't speak his language and he didn't understand his customs, he showed real kindness. And I think that's what God would like us to be like. He'd like us to show kindness to people, even if we don't know who they are and if they don't speak the language that we speak. That's what Jesus would have done in that situation. So that's a story to remind us that we need to show kindness to everybody, even if they're not like us. Okay, well, it's really nice to spend this time with you and we hope you've enjoyed the story this morning. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.